So why are all my videos centered around just three lifts? The squat, the bench press and the deadlifts. In this video, I will share why I like to do what I like to do. Hey what's up guys, it's Vipul aka Gojita Goku from EMI Fitness here to discuss why I choose powerlifting over bodybuilding. So to start with the same, I would like to mention that I have been training over 16 years now in which the majority of the time has been spent in doing bodybuilding. It was during the last couple of years, things completely changed and the powerlifting era began. An important thing to note at this point is that I have no coach to assist in powerlifting. It's just me reading and learning day in and day out, committing various mistakes, hunting for suitable answers and implementing a secure strategy. This hunger has made me technically proficient in the sport and I wish to share my point of view with the upcoming fitness enthusiasts so that they may benefit from my personal experience. I apologize in advance to all the serious bodybuilders who might get offended by what I'm about to state. So reason number one, the most important reason which led me to switch from bodybuilding to powerlifting is the fact that powerlifting is quantifiable which does not apply for bodybuilding. This means that powerlifting has a quantifiable measure for winning and say if a person is able to lift the maximum poundage in his or her weight category then he or she will be the winner. But if we apply the same thing in bodybuilding and say if a person has the greatest body measurements in his or her weight category there is no certainty of that person of winning the competition. Moreover many of the big and freaky bodybuilders do not necessarily win the competition. Reason number two, powerlifting is an actual sport whereas bodybuilding is more of an artwork. Like the aforementioned reason, the person bringing the powerlifting meet has managed to lift the heaviest poundage amongst all, which signifies an absolute measure for winning. But bodybuilding is more of a qualitative analysis, wherein the same person could appear good to many, but at the same time average or bad to many. This means that the person who wins the bodybuilding competition had more people in favor than in opposition. This could result differently on a different night. Reason number three, bodybuilding requires greater sacrifice than powerlifting. Well, this might sound that bodybuilding is more rewarding than powerlifting. And yes, many people do think that way, but my point of mentioning the word sacrifice relates to the strict diet before the contest season. The cutting phase is really hard for the body to sustain, which results in awesome looking physique but the downside is losing the competition to a non-deserving candidate just because of the reason that he or she might be a sponsored athlete or even more experienced than you or can be with judge's favorite. So reason number four guys, powerlifting lets you master your weak links. Now this is a very important point which I feel I have missed during the period I was into bodybuilding. At that time, my approach was somewhat corrective in which I was led to believe that a particular woman was not right for me after I got injured doing the same. This was the case initially with powerlifting as well and I was following the same old methodology but over the period of time and with constant learning, I changed it into a preventive one. Now, I lay a lot more emphasis on training my weakling. So reason number 5, powerlifting lets you focus your entire energy into a lift. Now this could be a controversial arguable point between bodybuilders as well as powerlifters but I would like to reward powerlifters as a clear winner because in my opinion bodybuilders don't even get to a point where they utilize the entire energy rather they follow a preventive method in which they focus more on absolute muscular failures which relates to high volume training. On the other hand powerlifters go to absolute failures in as short as 5, 4, 3, 2 or even a single rep which involves extreme levels of focus. So in the end I would like to say the reasons which makes you choose one thing over the another is as per what relates to your current thinking. This video is not meant to convince anyone to switch from bodybuilding to powerlifting. Rather it's my reasons why I choose what I choose. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and probably gained some useful information from it. Many new and informative videos are in process, so if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel EMI Fitness. Please like, comment and share if you enjoyed what you saw. It's Goju Goku from EMI Fitness. Here help you understand the true meaning of being fit.
Till next time, you stay fit, be strong, peace out. Well, this might sound that body. Well, this might sound. Well, this might. At that time, my. At that time, my.